All right, what's going on, everybody? I'm here with Chris today. He is almost done with his time here at Palmer West, so I got him at a good time where we could learn about a little bit of experience as a student, reflect on it, and what he's looking forward to. Chris, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I call myself basically a glorified meathead. Okay. Uh, I am kind of a rehab approach for chiropractic. I was a trainer before. I, I just work out a lot, and that's kind of like my whole life. So, I mean, there's not too much there, but... Um, as far as chiropractic goes, yeah, definitely on the more of the rehab side, not so much the innate intelligence, which, you know, there's a lot that are, mm -hmm. but um, I really like to look at biomechanics and how bodies are moving and training and how it affects everything, lifestyle management, all that fun stuff. But yeah, yeah just excited to get out of chiropractic school. Cool. And, and you are a uh, 13th quarter now? Yep. Graduate in three weeks. In three weeks. Okay. So he's taken, uh, he's taken all your boards at this point? Just finished part four last weekend. Yeah. Not as hard as everybody thinks it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, took part one, two, three, and PTs, passed all those, and then the only thing left is the law and ethics exam, so. Okay. Soon enough. And then you're planning to practice in California as well? Yeah, stay in California, not in the Bay. Original plan was to stay in the Bay, but yeah. we're going to move closer to family and then uh, yes. have a couple of job offers out there, so letting them kind of compete for me right now. Great, but great. We'll see how yeah. that goes. Now, are you using that as an opportunity to kind of like put yourself out in the market and like see where your worth is, know how much you're worth, and like, hey, what are you going to offer me? What can I do in your clinic? How do you negotiate those waters? So <clears throat> for me, being the, in the background of having the training that I did, um, you had to kind of build your own business. It's a little bit different because you're inside of a facility that kind of caters towards developing your um, you know, clientele base. Mm -hmm. And at that point, it's a little bit easier to get people because they're already coming in the door. Mm -hmm. So that's the big thing with Cairo whether you're starting your own business, you're going to be an associate, an independent contractor, you're going to have to get people to come in the door. And that's the hardest piece of the whole thing. As soon as people yeah. come in, they go, oh, this is great. I feel better. You know, I can, you know, actually do things that I wasn't able to do before. Like they see the value after the fact. But right. when you're trying, just like with training, you're trying to sell an intangible thing. They don't mm -hmm. know what it's like. They haven't been treated by you. You might approach it differently than other people have. Right. Um, so as far as it goes with getting like business opportunities. So my goal right now is I just want to make some cash. Mm. Um, I'm a quarter million dollars in debt. I talk finances. Anybody that wants to question or have questions about it, just shoot me a message. I can talk money. Um, but I'm $229,000 in debt. That's only luckily had $500 of interest because COVID. Mm -hmm. So I lucked out right. there. <clears throat> but when you're going to go pay that off, there's a period, a grace period of six months after you graduate. So for me, the first date that I'm going to have to pay is going to be June 9th. I think, or something mm -hmm. like that, uh, 2023, because I graduate December 9th. Yeah. So you have six months where you don't have to pay anything at all, which is great. Helps you kind of get on your feet, figure out your money, what's going right. on, how to yeah. how to actually pay it back. Yeah. Um, but then now you're responsible for the amount that you've accrued during school. Mm -hmm. So the principal, that's the total amount of money that you take out. Yeah. Then there's the interest that accrues. So you guys are not as lucky with COVID because right, right. interest is going to start back up come January. But you start accruing interest daily. And mm -hmm. I looked at the numbers on FAFSA, and was, I get like I think it's thirty-five or thirty-seven dollars a day of just interest alone. Mm. So it's quite a bit of money. Yeah. And you have to pay that down before you can really pay the principal, right. from what I understand. Um, so my whole goal is get some cash in the bank, have that steady stream of income, um, just kind of start paying bills, and then I can kind of figure out what my next game plan is going to be. The mm -hmm. end goal is going to be owning a couple of chiropractic clinics myself, nice. starting my own first, obviously, and then working to there but that's a couple of years down the line and yeah. um, you know that's you have to kind of establish yourself in a market as well so if people start seeing me and mm -hmm. wherever it is that I'm at I don't want to necessarily com create a competition between me and the clinic that I'm going to be working at because yeah. that's kind of shady it's shitty mm, right, um, right, yeah. I'm not a person to do that so I'd probably be establishing myself in neighboring towns somewhere that their kind of treatment radius isn't at yeah and then um you know, start working there, but just far enough away that people can still come see me if they liked how I treated or they mm -hmm. wanted to stay with me or however it is. Um, 